learning. Thank you, friends, family members, quilters, and most importantly, our honored veterans for being at today's awards ceremony. I'm Dee Dee Salvatierra, and with me today are Bonnie Cunningham, Judy Thurman, and Jeannie McGrath. We are members of the Western North Carolina Quilters Guild, Blue Ridge Chapter of Quilts of Valor. <clears throat> we are honored to be part of this special presentation today. The Quilts of Valor awarded today have been lovingly made to honor, comfort, and heal these U.S. Armed Services veterans touched by war. A brief history of the Quilts of Valor Foundation to give you some background on our mission. The Quilts of Valor Foundation is a national organization. It was started in 2003 by a Blue Star mother, Catherine Roberts from Seaford, Delaware. While her son was deployed in Iraq, Catherine had the idea of comforting veterans touched by war with handmade quilts. She wanted to make sure that returning vets were welcomed home with tangible reminders of appreciation and gratitude. We appreciate the core values of our organization, treating people with respect, promoting excellence, <laughs> valuing service over self, and also being accountable. To date, the total number of Quilts of Valor awarded has exceeded 252,000 presented here in the United States as well as in Germany, Iraq, and Afghanistan. In the U.S. alone, there are over 600 groups and many individual members making quilts to honor and comfort our veterans. A quilt of valor is the highest civilian honor we can bestow on these veterans. We thank you for your service your sacrifice and your valor. You are not forgotten. Our first recipient today is David Morrow. David is a U.S. Navy veteran who served in 1969 and 70 on a construction battalion team of 13 men known as Seabees. And I was told I should say, Seabees can do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little birdie told me that. <laughs> David's specialties were drafting, surveying, and soil analysis. In the Bien Ha Hoa province, about 60 miles south of Saigon, his team constructed roads, school buildings, government offices, warehouses, a hospital recovery room, and housing units. Their mission was to win hearts and minds of the Vietnamese people. David's Quilt of Valor was made by Navy veteran Judy Thurman with the help of Jeannie McGrath. It was quilted by Susan Caldwell. So we're gonna turn it around, turn let's it. show it to the audience. Show it to the audience. Pivot, pivot, pivot. There we go. There's David's quilt. And his wife, Kathy, is here to wrap it around him. We didn't make that <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Yes. Well, you love each other. It could be anybody. <laughs> That's a beautiful quilt. Kathy, a beautiful quilt. down a little bit more, please. Go see all of your lovely face. Uh-oh. Smile. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Just. Our second recipient this morning is Foster Ray. If you will stand forward, and Harold, you can stand with him. Foster is a veteran of the U.S. Army and the Army National Guard, serving from 1949 to 53, and then again from 1954 to 1970. He served in the Korean conflict years of 1950 to 55, and the Vietnam War 1961 to 75. He ser served two tours in Germany in the Company K-26 Infantry Regiment 
First Division in Bamberg and F. Asaffensburg? Asaffensburg. Asaffensburg, okay. Um, serving one tour in Korea, he was in charge of security for the largest and main PX in Seoul, Korea. During his first tour in Vietnam, he was injured in a Viet Cong hand grenade attack and also shot inside a mess hall at midnight. We don't want to know what he was doing there at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> He received the Purple Heart Award. He and his unit took out several dozen Viet Cong that night. He was airlifted by helicopter to a hospital in Saigon and remembers looking down and seeing, and seeing the Viet Cong dragging their dead comrades by ropes back along the trail. Oh my goodness. Foster received a Silver Star and two Bronze Stars. He served a second tour in Vietnam of 12 months and retired from the Army in 1970. He was discharged as a Master Sergeant and retired with the rank of E-8. Foster Ray's quilt was pieced, quilted, and bound by Jeannie McGrath. Here's your quilt. And his brother-in-law, Harold Wellington, another mm. Quilt of Valor recipient, will wrap him in the quilt. Harold, I'm not too cold. They're going to do si do here. They're both pretty. There we go. Super. Now, if you can turn and face Janice. And how does the and if you would put your mask down so we can get a photo. There we go. There you go. Move over like you like. There you go. We've got a light. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> For each of you, this quilt brings a three-part message from our hearts. First, we honor you for your service. We honor you for leaving all that you hold dear, to stand in harm's way in a time of crisis, protecting us from the effects of war. Second, our quilters know that freedom is not free. The cost of our freedom is the dedication of lives of men and women like you, and this quilt is meant to say thank you for your sacrifice. Third, this quilt is meant to offer comfort to you. You are forever in all of our thoughts and our hearts. In conclusion, each quilt of valor is formed by loving hands that join bits of fabric together one piece at a time. Quilters often work together in sewing groups to create these quilts. We, as we stitch, <clears throat> we talk about our families and our friends and how grateful we are for those who are willing, who will be receiving what we call our quilty hugs. We then wrap them in a quilt of valor and we believe that we so love caring and gratitudes flow from our hearts through our hands and into these quilts that we make. All of us as quilters want you to know that through our quilts you are forever in our hearts. And again, we thank you for your service.